Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. Dina and I are gonna grab some lunch. Actually, it's breakfast. It's 12.20 in the afternoon. We are here at this place called Pig and Fig Cafe, somewhere in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And then from here, we're gonna go on our hike. Let's go. All right, so Dina here got the shrimp po' boy, some chips, and did you get a cookie or did it come with it? Oh, okay, so that she got the boxed meal. I didn't get the shrimp po' boy because it has onions in it, so mine's coming up in a little bit. And I got the BLT. Oh my gosh, that looks so delicious. Check it out. Mmm. That was one good sandwich. Ow, I just scratched myself. <laughs> so this is in the town of White Rock, New Mexico. It's called Pig and Fig Cafe. And they also sell alcohol, but we're gonna go hiking right now, so we don't wanna go tipsy. We don't wanna fall. All right, heading to our hike. All right, so we made it to our hiking destination. We are at the Bandelier. We are at the Bandelier National Wilderness in White Rock, New Mexico. Yay! I got it this time. <laughs> I had to say this like three times because I kept messing up. But anyway, look at how beautiful it is already. Look at all that greenery behind me. Well, that's Dina behind me now, but... All right, we are gonna go try to find a restroom real quick. It's really, really nice here. It has a visiting visitor center, it has a cafe. Um, and we're gonna go find out what else it has. Okay, so we are gonna start our hike. We are doing a trail called the Frijolito Trail, which I'm excited for because that's the nickname my sister gave my grandson when he was little, Frijolito, because he was just so little and petite. Um, I thought there was gonna be a lot of shade, but she said it wasn't that much um, shade on the trail we were gonna go on, so we're gonna try to go and do the complete loop without dying out there, so. Let's see how it goes. So I was talking to this young couple that just came and did the full frijolito loop. The actual loop is 2.5 miles. That sign there says it's only 0.9, but that's not correct. No, I think it's 0.9 to get up to the ridge. Okay, 0.9 to get up to the ridge. Now they said that this switchback right here is pretty steep and it's gonna hurt our legs <laughs> and there's not much uh, shade. But once we get up to the ridge, there's beautiful views and coming down, there's beautiful views, so. Okay, so they did the switch back, so they went yeah. the Yeah, so we're gonna probably die going up, but then we're gonna enjoy coming down. All right, let's go. All right, I'm already taking my first break in the shade. We have one mile of switchbacks to go all uphill. The good thing is we have a pretty good breeze going on, so 
that's helpful. And there are some trees that we could stand under in the shade. So, I do not feel bad eating that sandwich that I ate because I'm gonna definitely burn it off on this one. I don't know, maybe today we might go sit somewhere and drink a lot of margaritas, take a nice cold shower and get a good night's sleep on this one. I mean after this one. Oh crap. We chose to come this way because it seems like it's the hardest way. So, wanted to get this one done. How are you feeling? Good. You okay? Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Any little shade we find. <laughs> Take a little break. feet of elevation going straight up on this on these switchbacks we got the tiny dot we got it okay we found some shade I'm gonna sit down and rest because we are in no hurry <laughs> oh gosh okay and again I didn't put my hair up because we we're gonna go to that little town of Chamayo so here I am, with my hair down again. We're hiding under a tree right now. We've only gone about one-tenth of a mile, you said? Yep. <laughs> okay, and it's one mile uphill. Well, point, point nine. And well, I didn't start, I didn't start at the bottom. Okay. So hopefully we've gone at least two tenths. That so doesn't make so we anything. we have seven tenths left. <laughs> doesn't make it better at Every, all. Every, every step counts. <laughs> every bite of that sandwich <laughs> is worth it. So fantastic. So the ridge, I think the ridge is here oh, and we're right here halfway. I think we're about almost halfway. No, maybe. Okay, there we go, we could see. Okay, so where did we start, down here? No, down here. Wait, hold on, I can't see now. Uh, where the green dot is. Okay. So we started where the green dot is at, and where the little blue dot is at is where we're at, and we still have to go all the way up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah. I think this is where the ridge, this is where the top of the point nine is, and then we're gonna do this loop. Here. Okay. That, that so loop. There it is. <laughs> Get it, Dina. <laughs> I feel like getting it. So there's that visiting center that we were at earlier. Way down there. We are almost there. Almost. How much more do we have? Uh, <laughs> we don't care. We just want to get up to the top. 500 feet. Okay. 500 feet. This is the last switchback right here. Right here. Right oh gosh, right we're there, there almost. Yeah. So we ah. Okay, that was no joke, man. That. That was tough well, because... I'm super proud that we did that. Yeah, because that's like straight up in the sun with a bunch of switchbacks, 500 feet elevation, so... Oh, this breeze feels wonderful. 
So yeah, I am proud of us because we actually, in Palm Springs on the PCT, we, um, we just couldn't do it. It was just so different. We literally felt uh, sick or like we were gonna pass out and our faces were red and our eyes were all red and it was just so different because there was no you know, wind or anything whatsoever. But this one we have a nice breeze. There's been quite a few spots where we could stop for shade and that's made it really, really nice and easier to climb up even though it was hard. My legs are gonna feel it tomorrow though for sure. So we have about a hundred more feet of elevation. All right, so hundred more feet, here we go. what it looks like out here you guys we are all alone up here in the mountain and I think we have a few more feet to go before actually climbing climbing the 500 feet but looks pretty flat here to me so also I don't think their dogs are allowed up here and I seen some little bits of poop on the ground, so there might be some kind of cat up here, or a few cats up here. I don't know. I don't think we'll see bears up here, but mountain lions, maybe. Bobcats, maybe. I don't know. But here we are still. I think once we're done climbing, Everything else is downhill. So pretty though and so peaceful. Just kind of hot. All right, so we've already climbed 500 feet. We've been taking little breaks here and there under the shade, but now we are heading straight down and it looks like it's pretty much like this just straight no rocks to climb or anything like that so we're hoping we get down there a lot faster than it took us to get up here so you ready yeah we ready let's go back to where we started that way okay we're heading downhill <sighs> <laughs> okay we're heading down <laughs> okay we're heading downhill and then I don't take a step I, I'm just like stuck right here oh my gosh yes I am ready for a cold drink. Ay, ay, ay. 
So Dina's telling me, oh look, the clouds are coming this way. And I'm thinking, oh cool, they're gonna cover the sun, right? And then she says, we only have a mile. I think we're gonna beat the storm. I didn't know there was gonna be a storm, woman. <laughs> oh, frijolito kicked my ass. Seriously. 500 feet straight up. I think that's a first for us, huh? Uh, yeah. No. San Luis, I think. San Luis, oh yeah, that's right. It is San Luis. But why did it feel different? Because it wasn't that hot, huh? It, well, I don't know if really that's it. I think it's because it's more steep. Well, that one was steep too. No, I don't think it was that steep. I think it had like longer switch back, where this one was just like this. Oh, okay, well, either way, it kicked my ass. And now I'm ready to go down because I need something very, very, very cold to drink. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, going down seems a lot easier because it's just like a little bit more like of a straightaway and just like going down some rocks, steps right here. And then the sun is on the other side of the mountain, so we're getting a little bit of shade. So, um, but it is a little bit steeper if you fell over the cliff here. But look at the views. So pretty. Beautiful. You can actually hear other people talking from down in the canyon. And there's Dina. So pretty. We got some more little steps here. The only thing we got to be careful here is with loose rocks. Very easy to slip and fall because of the loose rocks, but it's really not bad at all. I'm so glad we did it this way. We went the hard way first and then we came down this way because we could have gone the opposite direction. Uh, I'm just so glad the sun's not right on us anymore for now. Oh, I've been drinking water, but I really want something cold. Nice Coke. Zero. Ice cold Coke Zero would be very nice. So we are gonna go to the visiting center or maybe the cafe and get ourselves something to drink. So I thought I was gonna pass out a couple times going up the hill, but I'm so glad we did this. This is just gorgeous. So pretty. We got some kind of white rock right here. Look at how gorgeous the views are. It was so worth climbing 500 feet. Might not be able to walk tomorrow morning, but it's okay. So worth it. Okay, looks like we're getting to the end. And if you guys see that big mountain up there, that's what we climbed and that's what we were walking up there a little while ago so I am very glad to be down here because I'm almost out of water and I am super thirsty so I want more water or a cold drink whatever it is something really really cold 
<sighs> Look at how gorgeous. And my battery's about to die, so. See you guys when we get down there. All right, so we are done. We did it, Dina. Woo -woo. Woo. So before my battery dies, I just gotta show you guys. There is this really cool water fountain here, purified water, and I've already filled one of these up and drank it all like, I downed it completely, the whole bottle, and I just refilled it again, so I am happy. But we are done, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, click on that little bell so you can get notified for any other videos, and we'll see you next time.